In this GoPro tips and tricks video, we're going to review the Bulls 7 port 60 watt USB desktop and wall charger and then we're going to use it to build an awesome DIY charging station for our GoPro cameras and multiple battery chargers. So the Bulls 7 port USB wall and desktop charger is basically a power bar for all of your USB devices. I have been looking for a device like this for ages. A long time ago, I built a DIY one and it didn't work because I was not able to put a big enough power supply in to power it and the heat output off it was huge. So that was a failure. And then uh, about three years later, this came along and this is absolutely amazing. It's so powerful, it can power up to five iPads at the same time. And for anyone who has multiple wall warts plugged into a power bar to try and charge their cell phone and their tablet and their smartwatch all at the same time, a product like this is going to make your life so much simpler and get rid of so many wires and power bars. It's just amazing. The really nice thing with it is that each of the USB ports is protected with overcurrent over voltage and short circuit protection, just like high-end USB wall warts. These safety features are not always present on aftermarket cheap USB wall warts. Whereas with this, it's all there. You don't have to worry about plugging in your phone to it. It won't get damaged. All of the safety features you need are included with this USB charger. It's compatible with 100 to 240 volts, so it'll work anywhere in the world. We'll take a quick tour around the unit. On the front, we have the seven USB ports, and just above the center one is the LED indicator to indicate that the unit is powered on. On the top, there's some textured holes and a Bowles logo, and then around the back, there's a single AC power input. So this big AC cable power cable comes with it. You plug this into the back, just like that, and then plug this unit into the wall. This unit is currently listed for $35. You can find a link to the Amazon page for it in the video description. When you consider that this unit is replacing seven high powered USB wall warts, which would be around $20 a piece, the true value of this unit starts to become clear. Now we're gonna take it one step further and we're gonna build a DIY charging station for GoPro cameras and GoPro batteries that's small and compact and best of all keeps multiple GoPros tidy while charging. My DIY charging station is going to have the power adapter down the bottom with all the USB cables coming out of it and then on a top shelf above that the USB cables are going to get laid out ni nice and neatly so that it's very easy to plug each camera into them along the top of the charging station and then um, it'll be nice and tidy and compact. So what we're going to need is a lower shelf for the charging unit as well as and then some routing for the cables and then a top shelf where we can mount all of our USB cables down to. To do this I'm going to use a little sheet here of quarter inch plywood and I'm going to cut it up into uh, five different pieces. So I'm going to build the bottom shelf and the top shelf. This is six inches and then I'm going to cut the two bottom shelves five inches and then I'm going to need some standoffs. So I'm going to do side standoffs and a back standoff and those are going to be an inch and a half each. We'll then get out our straight edge with all of our lines drawn. We're now just going to go ahead and we'll cut each of these pieces out. With all of our pieces cut, we can start to look at how our DIY charging station is going to go together. So we've got the one bottom shelf right here. Then we're going to take our Bowles 7 port USB charger. It's going to go in the center. We've got our two shelves. I've actually decided to just use two uh, uprights. I'm not going to put one at the back because what I realize is I have to have all of these USB cables come out and loop over the top and that would involve drilling, drilling a lot of holes. And then of course our top piece is going to go on top just like this. Our first step then in assembly is going to be to mount our Bulls charging station. To do this I'm going to use a little piece of this VHB adhesive tape. I'm just going to use this because it's quick, simple, and there's no mounting holes in the bottom of the power adapter, so we do have to use something like double-sided tape. With that done, we can get our two side shelves, flip the unit over, line up the sides. Now I'm using very small framing nails to attach everything together. Three nails per side is all that's really going to be needed. Go ahead, flip it back over. You can stick the top piece on. 
And again, we'll put in three nails per side, just like we did with the bottom. And with the top shelf on, our charging station is almost complete. Now it's time to figure out what we want to charge and how we want our layout on our DIY charging station to look. What we've got that we're going to charge is a four GoPro cameras, a dual small tree battery charger, and two GoPro remotes for a total of seven items. We'll just start with by plugging everything into the uh, charging station and then we'll figure out the best way to run and manage the wires. So we've got all of our USB cables plugged into our USB power adapter inside our little DIY charging station here. Now we're going to manage them on the top of the station so they all go to the right places and then at the end we'll find a way to get all of these wires jammed back inside so it looks nice and tidy. So once you have the ideal layout figured out and you've plugged everything in, played around with a little bit on the top of the uh, charging station just so you have an idea of how everything's going to fit and how everything's going to work, we're going to get some zip ties and then we're actually going to wire down these USB cables so that they stay in one spot and by mounting the USB cable to one spot will stop all movement of whatever's plugged into the USB cable. So I'm going to mount this USB cable down here and then when I, it's plugged into the camera um, it's going to keep the top very tidy because that camera is only going to be able to sit in that one spot. And to do this, we're using zip ties with mounting heads. So what these zip ties have is they have this hole on the top of the zip tie head which you can run a screw through and mount it down to whatever you're mounting onto. With all of our cables wrapped and mounted down to the board to hold them into their appropriate spots, our DIY, epic DIY charging station is complete. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think it's absolutely awesome. We're charging seven GoPro pieces on top of this uh, six inch by five inch base and it's really, really compact. And if you just had this sitting on your desk, you'd be able to charge all of your really massive GoPro kit and set up in one really small form factor setup. So really apart from the seven port USB charging station, nothing on here costs extra. It's a tiny little piece of plywood, a couple of screws and a couple of zip ties. You guys can have a tour here. We can unplug all our cameras. And then we've got the two GoPro remotes charging on the top here. And then we've got their, uh, the battery charger plugged in right there. So I've got these two remotes charging bases. They're sitting sideways. What I found when mounting all of this is you have to be really careful to make sure the USB ports are in the right orientation you're, we're mounting these zip ties so close to the port that there's no way for that to spin after the fact. I had to raise this one up a little bit because this is for the USB 2 and the charging ports in a slightly different spot, but for the US, the Hero 3 and Hero 3 Pluses, these zip ties are the perfect distance off the ground so you can get right on to the, really, really close to the end of that uh, USB port and plug it right in. And then as for cable management, I actually had to move the the 7 port charger right down to the end of the station here so it's flush with this end of the charging base for a rough and rudimentary charging station that took me maybe an hour to make i'm really happy with how it turned out it's going to keep all of my gopro stuff super super organized and charged up i think this is a really super badass charging station i like i said before i'm really happy with how it turned out if you guys have a weekend and you want to spend some time perfecting this design i'd love to see photos of what you guys do with this kind of idea. So go ahead, post it up on the Facebook page and uh, I'll share them with everyone that I, well, we'll post them on the, share them on the photo on the Facebook page and you guys can get ideas. If you want to use nice wood, you want to paint it really nicely, you can build a absolutely beautiful charging station like this. Guys, thank you very, very much for watching. This was another DIY GoPro tips and tricks video. If you guys have enjoyed it, Please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos, and like the video. There's a ton of DIY GoPro tips and tricks videos, so make sure you check out all of those, 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching.